Uh, I'm Kenyon Dixon, um, R&B singer, extraordinaire, writer, uh, creative, father, super important. I'm Isley's dad, that's, uh, <laughs> that's first, and Isley's dad does R&B. So tour so far, man, has been amazing. It's uh, interesting times because uh, we've been in the house, we've been in the crib, and so it's good to get back out. A few reservations, because you know, like, I think anxiety is like through the roof for everybody, because we outside, we don't really know if we safe or not, but uh, we having a good time, man, and we're trying to be as safe as possible. So tour is, uh, it's been love to get back out and do what I'm used to, so I love it. Expectations, wow, man. Um, that album is literally changing my life in real time. It was uh, my offering to the R&B canon. Um, I th I th the timing had a lot to do with it. Uh, you know, R&B is such a trendy topic right now, um, but I pride myself in the fact that um, I've been true to it since day one, before it was uh, this trendy thing on social media. And so Expectations Man is uh, my most proud work to date. I'm so proud of that. And um, just everything about it, in my opinion, it's my, as one of my fans tweeted before, it's my confessions. So right now, until I beat it out, it's my, my greatest work. Oh, my top three on expecta ex Expectations literally changes every day. Um, today, I'm gonna go a hard way. I'm going to go with You Hate to See It, and I'm going to go with What I Like. Those are my those are my three today. So my process for uh, solidifying track listing, which is very important because you got to realize you're curating people's experience um, when they're listening to your music. And so those are frequencies in real time. So if you don't put the right frequency together, that could literally change how the song is received. And so for me... It changed so many times. After I get all my songs mixed, I put them in um, Pro Tools and I'll start, I'll get my first song and I'm, I'm like, okay, cool, I know this is the intro. I'll line every song up right after that and mute them and go one by one and unmute it and hear what it sounds like from that last song going into the next one. And I do that until every song is laid out and I have an album. So that's uh, that was my process, my same process with expectations. I set with it, I had to look at the album cover, I had to, hear the songs in their final version because the slightest change in EQ or uh, a, a compressor on the vocals that's changing like anything could change how the song makes me feel so I kind of let uh you know emotion lead for me um as far as like the sonics that make the most sense people have never heard my music um first of all what I want them to take away is uh I don't ever want them to say that R&B is dead again or that there's a lack um I want them to, I think I think I aim for my music to be nostalgic. All of the things we love about classic R&B, and when we talk classic R&B, we're really only talking about late 90s and early 2000s. Um, typically, w when my age group talks classic R&B, and so uh, the elements that were present there were, I mean, you had emotion, you had the desperation from the guys, you had um, just more imaginable lyrics. Everything wasn't so like overt. and just the creativity, the vocals, the, the church. Church is, is a huge part of R&B. And so when people listen to my music, I want them to be reminded of all of those things that we love about classic R&B. Because um, I do consider myself to be a very classic and traditional R&B artist. And so at the end of the end of the day, when it's all said and done and you play your Babyface record um, or your Stevie Wonder record, I want you to be able to play some King on Dixon right after that. What's your vision? My vision is to uh, heal people, heal people with R&B music, man. Give them these frequencies of, of love and life. And um, just, I want everybody to understand that at whatever level you're at, we're essentially all dealing with the same thing. It's just that our problems are more personalized. So the more you grow, um, you may grow out of certain problems, but you grow into the problems that are most beneficial for where you are now and I think that if we could all realize that we're able to be connected even amongst separation of classes um, I think that the world would have a lot more compassion and so in my music I just want people to listen to my music and from what I'm what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling when I sing man I just want that to uh, to heal people I think that's the greatest really the greatest vision you can have and so um, I would love to just do that um, for as much of my life as I can healthily and uh, just take it to the masses, man. I think that's important. Okay. 
Hey, yo, what's up? It's Kenyon Dixon, a.k.a. R&B Kenny, and uh, we in H-Town right now, and you're rocking with Vision for Productions. So what's your vision?